down, Toshiro. Essentially, we'll be using the same strategy as when we invaded Mario's castle. We'll attract the enemy's attention with a diversion in town, then sneak in while they're distracted. And after that, we take out Yoshiki inside the castle. Not a problem. So the people we freed, they'll carry out the diversion in town. Is that right? Right. With Yuki's help, I was able to get everything ready on that end. All that's left is for me to give the word, and we'll commence the operation. But wait, how are we going to sneak in? The castle is surrounded by a moat. Nonsense. A swimsuit in this Edo scenery would be blasphemous. I, for one, think the loincloth is the only way. You can wear one by yourself then, buddy. Unfortunately, in the time it'd take us to scale the stone wall after, we'd be all but wiped out. Actually, there's a secret passage that leads into the castle. Isn't that right, Yuki-san? Yes. As Toshiro-san surmised, there's a path that goes from the town into the castle. Yoshiki may be able to fly, but his minions are another story. There's no way a guy who builds a moat wouldn't have some way to transport his bodyguards in and out with him. You really thought this through, Toshiro. Is it just me, or is anyone else wondering what's up with all these hidden passages and secret doors? My father excelled at exploiting loopholes in the law and common sense to benefit his political career and personal life. Perhaps it's having an effect on this world because I perceived my father that way. I was aware of my father's nature. I always averted my eyes from him. Toshiro. Be that as it may, at least you're going to settle things with him now, right? Yes. I've made all the preparations to do just that. Aha! The whole gang's here, I see! What are you doing here? to pay our respects before the operation. Everyone is already in place. We're all just waiting for the signal. It's finally time to do this, isn't it? We'll be counting on you. For that, I can't thank you enough. We'll be sure to deliver on our end as promised. The success of this operation hinges on your support. We will defeat Yoshiki. We'll do it together. Let's do this! Yes! Just one more thing. I'd like to ask a favor of everyone. If you ever feel like you're in danger, I want you to run without hesitation. I don't want any of you risking your lives. Yes, ma'am. That's a promise. You all take care, too. It's almost time to start the operation. I'm counting on you, Toshiro. <sighs> Me too. Oh, by the way, about the operation name, how about Operation Smack Crackle Pop? Vetoed. Why? Your name lacks intelligence. And besides, I have already devised the perfect one. That's right. We'll call it Operation Obfuscation Midnight Infiltration. Lame. What? You'll realize the beauty of it once you hear it from your own mouth. Go on, say it. is harassing me. That's really what you'd consider harassment? How about a different idea then? I have 80 more iterations. Sheesh. There those two go again. Oh, goodness. <laughs> well then, I will give the signal as soon as you're all ready. Once the battle begins, there will be no turning back. Please make sure you're fully prepared. later. From here on, time is of the essence. We should sprint to the castle. Okay, but don't push yourself so hard you get wiped out, got it? Skull walked me through a brief regimen of thorough leg stretches. My legs already feel like they're on the verge of cramping up, but it's no problem. Sure sounds like a problem to me. By the way, for this plan to work, 
Will we need disguises? No disguise will be effective enough once we're inside the castle. Furthermore, attempting haphazard costumes could hamper our mobility. That's why we're not the ones who will be disguised. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Over here! They turned out rather well, if I might say so myself. Really? That intimidating? This was no mere attempt to recreate appearances. This is the projection of the self, as seen by the other. Perhaps it will deepen your self-perception. Yes! As a matter of fact, this could very well be a new form of the self-portrait. I don't get what he's saying. Inari the Art Nut's back. Ha! Huh. Praise won't get you anywhere. Well, the diversion's holding out. Looks like this was a good plan after all. Now all we have to do is sneak into Yoshiki's castle. Looks like Operation Smack Crackle Infiltrate is underway. Why would you combine those names? Okay, Yuki-san. Lead the way, please. Right. This way. We made it. This is the passage. Huh? Where? It doesn't look like a passage. There's a pathway at the bottom of this old well that leads into the castle. It really blends into such an ordinary alleyway, doesn't it? We definitely couldn't have found this place without Yuki-san's guidance. Shall we get going then? The disguises will only fool them for so long. Do you really intend to follow us into the castle? Past here, there's a dangerous battle awaiting us. Why don't you find somewhere safe to hide with the townspeople instead? Oh, but didn't you say we shouldn't lie to ourselves anymore? I want to do everything I can to help save everyone. And most of all, I want to witness your fight with my own eyes, Toshiro-san. Why me? <laughs> I wonder why. I won't back down on this, though. Please let me come with you. But if anything were to happen to you, I... Hey, don't those two look kinda... Is this what a grown-up romance looks like? Isn't it wonderful? I kind of admire it. I've heard love is about the push and the pull. Now's your chance, Toshiro. Push! You guys are getting way too into this. You know I can hear you, right? You've got it wrong, so cut it out already. I understand. If you're that determined, I won't stop you. However, at least promise me you won't be reckless. Please prioritize your safety. I will, thank you. Please be careful as well, Toshiro-san. Now, allow me to show you the way. really ramp up. The place is crawling with readings. <sighs> What's wrong, Yuki-san? It's odd. The entire layout of the place has changed since I was here last. When you were here last?
Morrison.
leave it to me. My turn. Persona! Damn, sorry! Nice. Let's do this. You've got this, Mona. Nice this cover. Is good. Ah! Leave it to me. I'll show 
No mercy. All right. Let's be fair. Let's do whip them into shape. What to do here? Leave it to me. I'll show no mercy. No. No mercy. Nice move, Panther. I'll show you. It. We'll train. Uh, 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 uh. Leave it to me. Behold the proof of my determination. <laughs> Nailed that mission, guys. An overwhelming victory. I almost feel sorry for them. But not in these numbers. We should maintain our concealment. There's no need to fight them head on. Oracle, can you determine the layout of the castle from that camera device? I'm trying to right now, but... No luck. They've blocked all access to it due to our infiltration. Well, it looks like our only option is to search the old-fashioned way. I'll run ahead and try to scout out a safe route for us. Sounds dangerous. Are you sure? Of course. Nobody is as good at fleeing conflict as I am. What a sad thing to be proud of. Allow me to join you. You should have someone watching your back. In that case, I guess we'll just go on a little tear here. Wonderful. I appreciate the distraction.
On coming. I wonder if Toshiro and Yuki-san are alright. It's dangerous to keep going like this. We need to get out of here. Those two went that way. Let's follow them. Yuki-san, let's hurry. We need to find some way to hide. Everyone's waiting for us. Please, stay calm, Toshiro-san. You seem to be having a hard time breathing. Perhaps we should stop and rest? No, it's all right. I'm, I'm sorry. Running isn't one of my strong suits. But Yuki-san, I promise that I'll... I promise, I promise I'll, I'll protect you. <laughs> What's wrong? Do you not feel well? No, I'm fine. I must be imagining things. Anyway, we should keep moving. The others are in danger. You're right. We need to... Is something wrong? No, but look at that. What a strange design. I don't think this door was here a moment ago. You're right, that is rather odd. Ugh! This way! Come on, follow me! Ugh, what is that voice? A voice? What do you... <gasps> the door opened by itself? What is this? What is this place doing here? Toshiro-san? You're deathly pale. Please, hold yourself together. I promise. You promised me. Liar! It's your fault. It's all because of you. Please, forgive me. Back then, I... It's all your fault. I'll never forgive you, Toshiro! <laughs> Where'd those two go? Don't tell me they got caught! <laughs> Boys! Yes, it's Toshiro! This way! Let's hurry! The voice came from somewhere around here. Wait, what? Hey, when did we get here? Is this... an amusement park? Toshiro-san is... Forgive me! Please forgive me! Get it together, Toshiro! What happened to him? I don't know. He said he heard a voice and... and then he was writhing in pain. It's like we're all in the dark about this. In any case, we need to get out of here. Unfortunately, that may be easier said than done. There's no way to run!
So no mercy. What to do here? My turn. No. Leave it to me. I'll show no mercy. Whip them into shape. All right. 
No mercy. Hey, phone call! Okay, we're down one enemy! I'll show you! Toshiro, keep it together, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all because I lied. Pull yourself together. <sighs> Don't let yourself be led astray here. That voice tormenting you is just an illusion. Nothing else. The Toshiro that I know is certainly no liar. Right? Yuki-san. I'm sorry. The enemy ambush had me shaken. I'm fine now. Uh, yeah, if 
By shaken, you mean a full-on meltdown. Anyway, what was with the scenery change? And the hell did they go? I them at once! Uh-oh. Looks like we don't have time for a chat. Yes. Let's handle these guys first. overlook this tragedy. Those people are being worked to death. I'm done seeking Those people need help. We rescue them right here, right now. Understood. Take them head on. Everyone ready? Please stay out of this one, you so. I'll be staying out too, so you're safe with me. Oh, understood. All right, let's mess them up. Hey, assholes! Let those people go or you'll regret it! You! No one you'll have time to get to know. We're shutting this place down now. Intruders! Oh, look, those Lord Oshiki come to regret it! Seize them all! Don't forget the furball either! Don't forget the what? Uh, you're asking for it now! Thank you. 
You'll be well hidden. Nice one, Joker. You'll be oh. safe there. I'll show no mercy. I'll show you. Damn, Garby! You little... <laughs> Me. 
Okay, we've secured the area. Let's free those people ASAP. We... we've been rescued? I'm sorry, but who are you all? Don't worry, you're safe now. Here, this way, quickly. Sure, but my back's so shot, I can't stand. Lady Yuki? Explain later. You need to escape first. Hmm, since they call her Lady Yuki, that must mean. Wait, are you married? Of course, a catch like her is married. Are you saying you didn't know that already? I was in a formal relationship with Yoshiki. So, yes, I am technically his wife. His wife? For real? So, you're like a princess here? Would be more accurate to say she's the general's consort. Hmm. I did 
notice an elegance and adherence to manners, but I never would have expected this. While I did marry Yoshiki, after witnessing his wicked doings, I couldn't bear it any longer. So I took the people he'd imprisoned and fled the castle. <sighs> but this never affected him. As you saw already, he subjects more victims to his tyranny every day. I get it now. Explains why you've been hiding those townspeople from him at your place. Oh, if you're Yoshiki's wife, then does that mean... Oh. Can we discuss the finer details later? We really ought to keep moving. Our main problem is the escape route. We have to do something about the cameras. Don't you worry yourselves about that now. Our job here was to supply power to the surveillance system. Uh, which means what, exactly? It means the cameras went down when the power supply did, too. With the cameras off, everyone in the castle should be in a panic. Let's take advantage and escape! I'll see to it that these people escape safely. You all hurry on ahead! Thank you. Please, put a stop to Yoshiki's reign of terror. Yeah! We'll beat Yoshiki down and overthrow his ass, you'll see. I don't know the rest of you, but thank you so much. We'll all be counting on you. I'll fill them in on the Phantom Thieves before you get back. With that said, goodbye for now. Please be careful. We will. You do the same. All right, Yoshiki's up a ways ahead. Let's go get him. All right. Been smooth sailing so far. The cameras are down, and there's barely any security. Let's hope it stays that way until we reach Yoshiki. Still, what a bombshell that Yuki-san was married to Yoshiki, right? Um, about that, doesn't that mean Yuki-san is... Yes. As I'm sure you've all gathered, I am fairly certain she's my mother. I guess you were just being considerate for my sake, then. Sorry, I'm still trying to come to terms with it. That being said, I, I suppose she's more like an illusion of my mother that my mind created. I don't remember what my mother looked like. I don't know if that's her actual personality, either. An illusion, huh? So, a vestige of your mother still lingers in the fragment of your memory? I'm not sure it's that poetic. Especially considering that I don't know what my real mother thought of me. What do you mean? It's possible my mother may have resented me. Really? As I've said before, I was raised under the strict discipline of my father. My mother was in and out of the hospital due to her illness, so I wasn't able to see much of her. But when I did get to see her, it filled me with joy like nothing else. Gradually, her illness grew worse. Watching her grow weaker by the day was a terrible shock. When my father became even stricter, rarely letting me go visit her. That's too cruel. It was around that time in my childhood when I hatched a plan. I would sneak my mother out of her hospital room and take her to the amusement park. She had always wanted to go outside with me, so I worked up the courage to carry out my plan. That was the first time I ever rebelled against my father. You finally rebelled? That must have made her happy, right? By the time we reached the park, my mother was beaming. It was just a small place on the roof of a department store. And though our trip was brief, I was grateful I had worked up the courage to take her after seeing how happy she looked. But on her way home, I'm not sure what happened after that. A lot of adults came. I only remember crying the whole time. Not long after, my mother passed away. I see. But, but that wasn't your fault! At least, not directly! That's what the doctors said. But my father still blamed me for it. He said my mother died because I selfishly disobeyed him. And she would always resent me for it. 
from beyond the grave. He placed his own guilt on you. No one will ever know why your mother's time came then. Yes, but despite knowing that, I'm still afraid. I dread my worst fears being confirmed when I ask Yuki. No, when I ask my mother for the truth. Though I'm ready to fight my father, it would appear my mother is a separate matter. For some reason, I can't stop this wishful thinking that she'll be kind to me. All right, I've digressed enough. For now, let's just press on, do what needs to be done. <laughs>